To win in today's market, you need a strong content marketing strategy to continue to bring in new customers. The problem that most businesses run into is the time and resources it takes to consistently be pumping out new content. To fix this, you can utilize AI to supercharge your content production. However, this isn't gonna mean that the AI will do everything for you. Anyone that tells you that is lying because AI still lacks the human touch that makes the content truly engaging. Instead, you should be looking for AI to automate certain aspects of the content creation process, not the entire thing. In this video, I'll show you how and where you can add AI into your workflow to make your content process 100 times more efficient. Just in case you were wondering if AI actually does have the power to generate great content or not, here are some examples of the accounts I've grown personally by mastering AI prompting and essentially adding a multiplier to the quality and quantity that I can produce using a couple different AI tools. When I took over this account, Better Legal, they only had about 400 followers on their TikTok. But within the first 30 days of working with them, I generated over 4.4 million views and over 40,000 new followers for the account. Now, as you can see, I've been working with them long term and we've jumped all the way to 66,000 followers. This was all done in just a couple months and I spent a fraction of the time I would have used if I hadn't been using AI to help me throughout this process. And this is coming from someone who's built multiple pages online to over 30, 40, and 50,000 followers. Here are examples of some of the videos that were made, scratch that, carried by AI. Next up, what can you do with AI? First is generating content ideas because if you can't come up with ideas, you can't actually post any content. Most people think that this just boils down to going into ChatGPT and saying, make me X amount of videos about Y topic, but that's gonna give you horrible results. If you're just doing that, you will never know what it feels like to blow up on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, or any other social platform. Sure, I use ChatGPT all the time, but what's really giving me a leg up is simultaneously using rss.app to do competitor research. This way, every single day, I'm able to look at all their videos, their hooks, their CTAs, and what they're talking about to make sure that I'm talking about the most relevant topics and I can take their viral videos and put my own personal spin on it to make it my own. I also make use of Talk Backup. This takes it one step further by typing in those creators' names, and then I'm able to see what videos have gone viral for them, and I can even narrow down the date gap so I can just look at the last couple of weeks, last couple of months, or even the whole last year if I wanted to. Then I take those viral videos, download them using SnapTech, download the transcript, and then upload that into ChatGPT and have it rewrite the script for me. Here's the exact prompt that I use and you can steal. Mix this with some of the new GPTs that are being created to rewrite scripts and write really good content like my own that I'm creating called Content GPT, and you're going to be able to get viral hit after viral hit. Once you've got that script, you want to find relevant B-roll. I typically go to Twitter or Pexels and I download it from there for free. An absolute content cheat code is going onto Twitter and searching in whatever term or tool you're looking for, because odds are somebody's already created a video or a thread talking exactly about what you want B-roll for. Now it's time for the fun part. Like I said, simply asking ChatGPT to create you a list of ideas is a waste of time and a waste of potential, especially if you want to use ChatGPT for the long term to create viral ideas. Here's mine right here if you want an example. To generate ideas, I want you to imagine a content matrix table. In this table, the x-axis contains types of content, meaning ways to expand on a topic. The y-axis contains content topics to be matched with the x-axis. The x-axis has these content types formatted like this, name and then explanation how to use it. Here's all the different content types that you're gonna get, but what you're gonna fill in now is the y-axis with your own content ideas. So for me, I did artificial intelligence for solopreneurs, ChatGPT for writing, ChatGPT for solopreneur operations, and social media growth. Now, I want you to write out this table and write out a content idea at the intersections of X and Y axes. You match each topic with a content type, and then it gives you an example here. This prompt is originally from the AI solopreneur who has a huge following on Twitter talking about ChatGPT prompts, and he put it out in one of his weekly newsletters. The tool I use to be able to just copy and paste over these prompts really easily is TextBlaze. All I have to do is type in backslash context, and then it pastes over this entire prompt for me so I don't have to go through that every single time. The reason that using this matrix is so powerful is because you're specifically giving ChatGPT details about the tone, style, and themes you want for your idea topics. So rather than just doing your normal bland or how to XYZ, you get a healthy variation to play around with that you can easily branch off into multiple different ideas. You get emotional, analytical, contrarian, not to mention this allows you to milk a trending topic for all it's worth. Rather than just talking about a trending topic one-dimensionally, the content matrix allows you to talk about it multi-dimensionally, allowing you more opportunities to blow up because you're not just doing the same old boring approach that everybody else is doing. Number two is skipping research. One major problem people have when using ChatGPT is a lack of details in their prompts. This is mainly because A, it takes a lot of time and B, giving context is difficult. But adding this simple AI shortcut to my roster has increased the outputs I get from ChatGPT tenfold. 
Inside ChatGPT, there's a custom instruction section. In it, you can write specific details you want ChatGPT to know about you, your audience, and the tone and style of voice that it should be using when it gives you responses. And boom, just like that, you've saved time while increasing the quality of the AI's output. Number three is content generation. Now for the fun stuff editing. People think AI is nothing more than just a glorified search engine. What's even funnier is that they think AI is simply text to text use. I use it to replace what would be an extra employee on my team, a short form editor. While most people outsource editing, or worse, spend hours doing it themselves. I use an AI tool called Firecut. It automatically edits down my clips so I don't have to, getting rid of all the repetition, silent spaces, and it will even add captions for you now. This allows me to save a boatload of time, just like all the other AI tools I mentioned. Some of the other plugins I'm using on a daily basis are VoxScript to get transcripts from all the YouTube videos so I can do research 10 times faster, Photorealistic to get better mid-journey prompts so I'm not just typing in a single sentence and living with the results. TypeShare lets me get really good at written content by giving me ideas for blogs, tweets, threads and newsletters so I don't have to think of all of it myself. Adobe Enhance is where I upload all my audio so it cleans it automatically using AI so even if you don't have a mic like this you can have crystal clear audio. Repurpose.io lets me post a video to my TikTok and then it'll automatically post it to Snapchat, Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, Pinterest and anywhere else you can think of. Midjourney and Ideogram are what I use for every single one of the graphics on my page. Opus Pro will let you repurpose other people's content if you want to do theme pages. Zapier lets me automate all my workflows like onboarding customers and clients. By applying AI into your content creation workflow, you can significantly speed up your process and minimize the costs associated with content creation. If you want to see how I pushed AI past its limits to streamline content creation, to create literal assets from scratch that make me money every single day, that will be the first link in the description. If you want to learn more about how to make content with AI, specifically faceless AI content, step-by-step -step that go viral, click the video on the screen and in the second link in the description. See you all in the next one.